Hey water signs, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, Ascendant, Sun, Moon, Venus, Rising, and those of you that are cross-watching, welcome to your tarot love messages. Today we're going to take a look and see what are your um, future predictions for the next 48 hours or so. Okay, so we'll see what messages are coming in for you in relation to love and romance or perhaps otherwise. It is going to be a general reading, so please just keep that in mind. If you are after a personal tarot reading with myself, please feel free to reach out and inquire. I will list my email address just below the video here, where the show more section is. Otherwise, let's go ahead and take a look at the messages that are coming in for you guys for the next 24 to 48 hours. Okay, water energies. You've come up with the Five of Cups in reverse. Okay, emotionally or internally speaking, I feel like it'll be an, an, a very interesting next uh, 48 hours here. Now, you have the Five of Cups here, but it's come up in reverse for you. And to me, this is a some sort of setback here, a personal setback. Um, it could mean that you might have to do some self-forgiving here, guys. Uh, it's an energy of moving on as well, or needing to move on. So you might experience some sort of, with regards and with reference to a romantic connection here, you might experience some sort of setback or some disappointment with a specific um, person or in a specific situation here and or you might be feeling this type of way that maybe you're making the wrong decision maybe you're investing your time and your energy into the wrong person and into you know the wrong situation you may also worry that you're taking a wrong path here with someone okay or you're going down the path that you shouldn't be um, going down it feels like whatever it is that you're feeling here you're not ready to admit those feelings to others or even more importantly even to yourself here because you could potentially be feeling this um, this way regarding a person an energy or a situation but you might be too proud or too stubborn to admit it and a part of you could be in uh, self-denial here or you could be choosing just to keep those feelings to yourself and not necessarily voicing it or sharing it with others here the seven of swords as well in the same row tells us that maybe there is some sort of self-deceit involved here and maybe you know you're looking at the situation and you might not be seeing it for what it is but you might be seeing it for what you want it to be here so and the reason why you're doing that is I get that you might just be trying to sort of lessen the pain here, lessen the emotional pain and just lessen that feeling of uncomfort, like that feeling of discomfort and that feeling of worry and an anxiety and stress, you know, that you've, you've made the wrong decision or you're investing your time and energy into the wrong person here as well. Whatever it is, it feels like you're going to, the, in, in these 48 hours, you may not realize it, but you are going to overcome this personal or this temporary setback, okay? Um, you could also be feeling very guilty or just feeling very upset with yourself or about someone else about or like about a romantic energy here. Or it doesn't even have to be romantic. It just feels like another connecting energy. And you might be blaming, even though something has happened here, like a separation or a disconnection or some sort of setback and something very tumultuous, something very challenging, something which you obviously did not foresee coming, nor would you have invited this into your energy here. But to me, it feels like you could possibly be blaming yourself for the, the, the destruction or the collapse of something. Don't do that. 
don't do that forgive yourself forgive anyone else even if you know they're not asking for your forgiveness um, you don't want unforgiveness running around in your subconscious you don't need that so um, I feel like the next in the next 48 hours try I mean obviously it takes a lot longer than just you know there is no time frame as well for you to try and move on from a certain situation or a certain energy so we're not going to say try and move on from, you know, this specific um, emotional experience that you're feeling or this, you know, the specific person that you're attached to. But it might be a perfect opportunity in which you might take the time to practice some self-forgiving or even practice some forgiveness. Because even if you feel like this person doesn't deserve your forgiveness or they haven't asked for your forgiveness, see, it just feels like... It's all about expressing gratitude and sort of moving into a space and an area of love, if that makes sense. Um, the Tower moment definitely invites, for a lot of you, and especially alongside the Seven of Swords, there's definitely um, some sort of collapse or something being really exposed and revealed to you. But it feels like there was, unfortunately, there was some malicious motivation or intent behind this specific energy or this specific situation. So someone he, you might find out, someone he was lying to you, someone he was fabricating a truth um, and telling you a version of it. It feels like something is, you know, it is being brought down. So the collapse of a situation, of a romantic connection, um, something he comes falling apart. Um, the lightning bolt strikes and hit, hits the tower and the energy kind of flows down from the crown chakra here so i'm seeing this is something that wasn't it's just come to a culmination okay this is something that's been built up over time and this is the eruption of it this is the destruction of it so it, it feels like you you might not have seen this coming and you may not have even you know been awaiting this but it feels like something needs to fall or something needs to uh, collapse and crumble to the ground here and something needs to be exposed and brought out into the light here and you just have to remember I feel like try and take comfort in the thought that even during times of disaster times of destruction during these tumultuous times and situations see there's always divine intervention so you know if anything at least you can take comfort in the thought that somehow divine has um, cleverly intervened in, in all of this here and whatever is happening is happening for your highest good so even if it doesn't feel like it even if it doesn't seem like it it is serving um, a positive purpose and it is happening for your highest good here and just I feel like just when you think you're safe in some sort of situation or you're safe with someone comes this uh, collapse of this tower and this destruction here but I feel like this situation is also going to bring you a lot more clarity in the long run. So you're going to find out someone has been dishonest or someone has been cheating or someone, you know, hasn't, then, you know, something or someone isn't what you think it is. And this is, and you're cutting through lies or you're cutting through illusions. The next 48 hours are really going to help you with clarity here. So your world might feel like it comes crashing down here. But it feels like you're going to build up, perhaps rebuild this connection or build something back up on a much more stable foundation here. And not on false assumptions, not on mistruths, not on illusions or anything like that. So, yeah, Seven of Swords, uh, blatant lies, mistruths, assumptions, um, dishonesty, deceit, disloyalty here. So, obviously not a very pleasant energy here. But you're going to find out that someone or something is not who they say they were or a situation is not what it seems and it just feels like there's a lot of mistruths here something everything you thought was true is going to be turned upside down on its head okay i know it's not a very pleasant next 48 hours but it does serve a highest good here someone could go ghost on you someone he could really be acting very cold and very distant towards you as well he and you may feel as though all this time you were being really kept out in the dark um just remember there are two sides to every uh, coin every pentacle just as there are two sides to every story so even though something is being brought and exposed like brought out into the surface and exposed into the surface I also feel like 
the, there is some sort of story behind it. Not making excuses for this person, whoever they are, but I feel like this there's, there's something behind it. So and it does feel look, look their motivations do feel a little bit malicious. So this person obviously knew that they were lying, knew that they were cheating on you, okay? It didn't just accidentally happen. So, you know, there's that, but I just feel like there's some sort of story to go with it is what I'm saying. Um, I also feel like the Hermit energy tells us that you might be, you may just feel like with everything that's going on with you right now and, you know, sp more specifically with the situation, you may feel as though you just kind of want to retreat, you want to disconnect, you might find yourself not wanting to talk to anyone, not you know, just wanting to be on your own, just not, you know, just completely wanting to disconnect, you might be just switching your phone or just completely like, um, it feels like you're kind of withdrawing but withdrawing into yourself so you could find yourself blocking certain people um, or just uh, completely disconnecting just crawling into hermit mode um, it's like you're trying to find a space that feels safe for you and it feels comfortable because there's a lot of uncertainty about who or what you can trust because even your feelings you feel like there may even be some mistruths to your feelings and you know what if you feel this way don't feel bad about feeling this way don't feel bad if you just don't necessarily want to be around anyone or if you just don't necessarily want to you know um, if you don't feel like your usual self um, just write it out whatever it is that you're feeling this uncertainty or you know it's not gonna, gonna it's not going to last it's obviously temporary and if you feel like disconnecting or withdrawing it to yourself or if you don't feel like talking to someone else if you just feel like calling into hermit mode so be it Okay, you need to feel it to heal it. So next 48 hours or so are going to be a little bit tumultuous, whether externally or internally here. But I do feel like essentially there is divine intervention here and it's happening for your highest good. Alrighty, guys, these are your messages. Thank you as always for watching and listening. Please show your support by liking, sharing, subscribing. If you're after a personal reading, feel free to connect. Otherwise, bye for now.